Hey everyone, what's up? So here's my 3D printed self-balancing robot which is powered by an Arduino Nano board and has an MPU6050 to get the accelerometer and gyro readings to balance itself using the PID function. This robot setup itself is almost 3D printed except for its wheels which are these big nylon wheels. I bought these from a local hardware store but you can purchase them from the internet. In this video, I will show you guys how you can make your own self-balancing bot in few easy steps with an Arduino board. Let's get started. So these are the things that I use for this robot build. 3D printed parts, which are these, base, battery holder, bottom, bush and this upper level part. You can download all of these from the link given in the video description. The Arduino Nano board, custom PCB by JLC PCB, MPU 6050, L298 and motor driver board, 12 volt lithium ion battery pack and two gear DC motors. I first modeled the DC gear motors in Fusion 360 and then prepared a base body around the motor in this arrangement. Then I made a bush to attach the nylon wheels with the motor shaft. The lithium battery pack goes on the top and then it is held in its place by this battery holder. For increasing the height of this robot, I added four threaded rods on the battery holder and then added yet another 3D printed part, which is this upper level. By adding these rods and the upper level, the robot height is increased and now we can add a bunch of stuff to this robot. But I was not able to print this upper level because my 3D printer broke down. So I'll make a part two of this video for improving the overall structure of this robot project. For now, this is pretty much the basic structure of this robot. At the bottom side, I mounted the electronics component, which include the Arduino board, MPU6050 and the L298N motor driver board. This is the schematic that I use for making the PCB and doing the connections. Now let's look at the main component of this project, which is the MPU6050. The MPU6050 is a MES based 6 axis motor tracking device that has an on chip gyro and accelerometer sensor along with a temperature sensor. It uses an I2C interface for communication and required operating voltage between 3.3V to 5V. Here's a PCB that I prepared for a previous project which utilizes the Arduino Nano connected with MPU6050. I added some wire to connect this circuit with the L298N motor driver in this configuration. But before working on the robot, let's try a simple MPU6050 example sketch. By using MPU6050 libraries with the Arduino board and uploading this simple plotter sketch, we can get readings from MPU6050 directly into the serial plotter. Observe this. When I move the robot, or shake the robot, the serial plotter readings are changing drastically. This means that our MPU is working properly. These are the readings from another MPU6050 test sketch, which displays the acceleration of XYZ axis, the rotation of XYZ axis and the temperature reading. Anyways, for controlling the DC gear motor, I use this L298N, which is an H-bridge motor driver commonly used for making robot projects. In past, I made this robot, which was driven by the same motor driver. The L298N is pretty reliable and can drive 12 volt motor at 2 ampere output max, which is enough for this small robot. PID or Proportional Integral Derivative is basically a feedback system in which the output is controlled by readings taken and edited by the PID system. Proportional control refer to an adjustment that is proportional to how much error is. The proportional control produces offset in its correction due to disturbance. 
The integral control has the ability to remove this offset and bring back the error to zero. The derivative control deals with the rate of change of the error. If integral control look at the history of error, derivative control predicts the error. Here's the main code of this self-balancing robot project. You can also download this code along with other details from this project's page. Link is in video description. Before using this code, you need to download the MPU6050 library, the I2C library, the L motor controller library, and the PID library. The link of all these libraries are in the video description. Before uploading, remember to change the spinout according to your connection. Also, after uploading this sketch, your robot might not balance itself properly. So we need to tweak few values, which are these. To increase the stability of robot, KP will make the robot fall and the KD will increase the oscillation. By editing these values, your robot might become more stable, but by putting the wrong values, your robot might become more unstable. Anyways, just upload this code to your robot and watch the magic of MPU6050 and PID. As you can see, the self-balancing part of this robot is working properly, but it still requires a lot of changes which include getting rid of this unnecessary movement in the wheel when the motor is at stationary position, and the height of the robot which is increased by adding the upper level with threaded rods. Also an ultrasonic sensor can be added here to avoid obstacles for example a wall while balancing. These are for the part 2, so stay tuned for that. Hit that subscribe button if this video was helpful. And I'll be back.